How to learn any subject without teachers. Whether you need to learn a new skill for work or you are simply interested in learning something new for your own enjoyment, there are lots of different ways to go about it. There is a wealth of knowledge at our fingertips, thanks to the internet, so learning on your own has never been easier. Depending on your learning style, you may prefer to read, watch videos, or perform your own experiments. However you decide to learn, never stop being curious. Doing your own research. Learn to identify reputable sources. If you are going to be teaching yourself, you will need to know how to find good learning resources. There is a lot of information available that is not reliable, so be very careful about where you look. These guidelines apply to all media, including articles and videos. Academic journals are a great source of reliable information. If you don't have access to any other databases, try doing a search on Google Scholar to find articles. 1. Look for websites that are published by reputable organizations, including major new outlets, government agencies, and professional associations. Avoid relying on personal blogs and web forums for information. If you have any doubts about the quality of your source, always verify the information by looking for another source. 2. Look for non-biased sources. A source that appears to be selling a product may not provide objective information. Read books and other materials about your subject. There is a plethora of information out there for anyone who is willing to read it. No matter what you want to learn about, chances are there is a book or website that can teach you everything you need to know. You can find information about pretty much anything online, so start searching for answers to the questions that interest you. You can access peer-reviewed published work through journal databases like LexisNexis and JSTOR. You need a subscription to access these databases, but they may be free for you if you are a student. 3. Many classic works of literature are available for free on websites like Project Gutenberg. Your local library is a great resource for free reading material, so take advantage of it. While a lot of information is available online, not everything is. Watch educational videos on your subject. Reading isn't a great way to learn for everyone, but luckily it's not the only way to learn. There are tons of educational videos available online that can teach you how to do all sorts of things. Whether you'd like to listen to someone explain a concept or watch someone perform a task, videos can be very helpful learning resources. YouTube is a great resource for learning new skills. Many of the videos you will find are made by amateurs, but there are also tons of educational channels available. 4. If you want to learn about anything from technology to philosophy, consider watching some TED Talks. These are short presentations given by professionals from a variety of different backgrounds on many fascinating subjects. 5. Documentaries are also very informative and can help you learn about many different topics. Some are available on cable or on the internet, while others you may have to purchase. Learn by observing your surroundings. You can learn a lot from observing the world around you, so don't neglect this vital resource. Look for ways that you can expose yourself to your topic of interest on a regular basis. It may not feel like you are learning, but you are. For example, if you are trying to learn a language, consider watching television shows or movies in that language or with subtitles in that language. 6. If you want to learn more about art, try visiting your local art museum and just observing what there is to see, rather than trying to commit anything to memory. Get hands-on experience in the field. Reading and watching are both great, but eventually you will need to become more actively involved in your own learning. If you want to take your studies to the next level and gain a deeper understanding of your subject, you will need to start doing. There are some things that it is simply not possible to learn without trying it yourself. For example, you can read every book and watch every video that you can find on knitting, but until you pick up the needles and the yarn and try it, you will never truly understand how to do it. You can benefit from hands-on experience with less concrete skills as well. For example, if you want to teach yourself about Shakespeare, you may be able to gain a very good understanding by reading criticism or listening to others' opinions. However, you will have an even greater understanding when you begin to make observations for yourself.